Hi everyone. Recently I am getting a lot of questions on from students who do not understand the difference between a true bearing, magnetic bearing and compass bearing. Even if they do, they do not understand the practical application at sea in terms of navigation. So today I am going to make a detailed video where I explain the difference between each of these bearings and how they are practically applied in the ship's navigation. To explain that, I will also explain the role of deviation and variation. Now I've previously made videos on magnetic compass and uh, gyro compass. So these, this video is not on magnetic compass or gyro compass, although I'll be referring to these two compasses all the time. If you want to know more about these compasses, please watch the links given below in the description section because there are a number of videos I have made on that. Today I will be referring to gyro and magnetic compass, so I am assuming that you know what gyro and magnetic compass is. Also in this video, I am not going to be solving any compass error questions, but I will show you the application and the relationship between each of these terms, true bearing, magnetic bearing, compass bearings and role of deviation and variation. So let's get started. Firstly, what is true bearing? True bearing is something that you obtain from the gyro compass. All right, so your master gyro or your gyro repeaters give you your true bearing. True bearing is also laid out on the charts. All right, so your paper charts, what we are talking about is charts and compass rows in charts is based on true bearing, right? So what is true bearing? True bearing is based on the fictional, and why I say fictional, I'll tell you that, fictional true north. Now true north is a direction of zero, zero, zero degrees. It is fictional because of course, it's not there in reality. But we have created this true north and we keep it fixed in one position at a bearing of 000, zero, zero degrees or sometimes what we call 360 degrees is because it gives us a fixed point of reference for navigation. For example, if we have all bearings calculating from 000, zero, zero degrees, then we know we can calculate all bearings with respect to 000. zero, zero. So if we have tomorrow north, south, west and east and this becomes your true north 000 degrees you can calculate your bearings from the true north where east becomes 090 south becomes 180 degrees and west becomes 270 degrees so we can lay our courses with reference to the true north whether this is 045 this 045 means it's calculated from 000 degrees this is 45 degrees from 000 that's why it's called 045 degrees and we call it 045 degrees true so all our bearings on the chart is based on true bearings right and that is what we get from the gyro compass and we use it because this is a reliable means of course ma course measurement and course keeping because 000 or the position of 000 is fixed it's fictional so it's fixed and that is a fixed point of reference we need. We need a fixed point of reference to measure our courses or bearings. This point of reference cannot move about. If it moves about, then we cannot rely on it as a course keeping or a course measurement point. That brings us to next is magnetic bearing or magnetic compass bearing. You can call it anything. Now, what is this magnetic bearing? This magnetic bearing is what we get from our magnetic compass but there is a catch to it all right let me finish so this magnetic bearing is what we would have got from the magnetic compass with no changes if the ship was not made of iron cargo was not iron because if ship and cargo is iron and we've got so much iron content on the ship that will have an impact on the magnetic compass all right so if ship is made of iron cargo carried is say iron ore or some iron based cargo 
that will have an impact on the magnetic compass so this magnetic bearing does not exist in actuality if the ship was made of wood and we are not carrying any iron cargo then this magnetic compass bearing would be our magnetic bearing but because the magnetic compass gets influenced by the ship's iron content it gets influenced by the cargo it gets influenced by the local magnetic anomalies magnetic bearing on its own doesn't exist all right although we call it a magnetic bearing is what we get from the magnetic compass so what bearing do we get from the magnetic compass on the ship now on the ship the bearing you get from the magnetic compass is called the compass bearing now this compass bearing is influenced by the ship's own magnetism and the magnetism around it so this compass bearing includes what we call is deviation and variation so what is deviation and variation deviation is ship's magnetism right which is different for different ships we don't know what it is and variation is the local magnetic influence depending on your geographic location and that's why your variation changes with geographic location and your deviation is ship specific so when a magnetic compass adjuster comes on board and corrects your magnetic compass he is trying to reduce the impact of the deviation because your deviation is ship specific so you can reduce the impact of it by using your magnetic compass correctors but you cannot completely remove it you cannot completely eliminate it you cannot make it zero so the ship on ship the bearing that you get from the magnetic compass is not your magnetic compass bearing it's called compass bearing because it is influenced by the ship's magnetic compass so on the ship you have only two bearings true bearing and compass bearing there is nothing called the magnetic compass bearing all right is this clear and then i'll show you what is the application of it so from the deviation we know we get something called the deviation card which is often posted next to the wheelhouse or rather not to the wheelhouse but next to the steering position deviation card deviation card gives us deviation values right for true and magnetic headings of the vessel now of course the deviation card is made in a specific geographic location and so it is influenced by certain specific geographic influences local magnetic anomalies local variation so there's of course limitations to it we'll not go there but you make a deviation card and from the deviation card what you get is deviation values for true and magnetic headings so how do you practically apply this now remember this now remember these relationships all right so the true bearing and the magnetic bearing right when i say magnetic bearing remember what i said magnetic bearing on the ship doesn't exist what we have is true bearing and compass bearing so true bearing and magnetic bearing have a relationship with variation all right magnetic bearing and i will call it compass bearing the one that we actually get on the ship due to the influence of the deviation has a relationship with, with the deviation and of course true bearing and compass bearing have a relationship with the combination of variation and deviation which we call is compass error and that's how i will explain how we practically apply these values for ship's navigation so what is compass error it's a combination of variation and deviation now i have been recently asked a few different questions so i'm going to take up those questions and i have answered some of these questions already in the video but i'll take up those questions as well so somebody recently asked me how do we apply these bearings so our primary means of steering primary steering is using what compass we use it using the gyro compass because that makes our life easier we have a fixed point of reference fixed north all right we have a fixed north 000 degrees 
and so this is our primary means of steering if gyro fails what is our only backup steering method our backup steering or rather backup steering compass let's not say backup steering method we have follow up non follow up and all those things we are not going there backup steering compass so this is our gyro compass which is our primary steering compass right but what is our backup compass so our backup compass right is magnetic compass remember when we say magnetic compass this magnetic compass is actually being influenced by the ship's magnetism as well right as well as the local magnetic anomalies so then this becomes our secondary steering compass so how do we switch over from gyro to magnetic now what is the problem with magnetic and why is it not used as a primary means of steering because magnetic compass the basis of magnetic compass is what is it magnetic north just like for gyro compass we have true north fictional distance of 000 fictional direction of 000 but magnetic north is not a fictional north there is a magnetic north that actually exist so if we have a surface if we say this is the earth and we say we have the north and the south and west and east and this is north and this is south this is west and this is east we have a fictional north 000 which is the true north right i have explained that but we also have something called the magnetic north which actually exist it could be anywhere somewhere near the north pole somewhere near the true north not exactly at the true north somewhere near the true north because that is based on the earth's magnetic pole so inside the earth's core there is a magnetic pole and that influences where the magnetic north is i'll call it mn magnetic north now this magnetic north is not fixed it changes position it moves about depending on the local magnetic activities that is happening inside the earth so that influences the magnetic north and i have shown you in previous presentations please watch my presentation magnetic north this keeps on shifting this is not a fixed position so we cannot use this as a primary means of steering because this is not a fixed position we cannot measure our courses and lay down our courses based on a fixed position that is not even fixed it is moving about so when we come back to what i was talking about is when gyro fails so when gyro fails and we switch over from gyro to magnetic compass we can use magnetic compass for steering because magnetic compass is ideally should be seeking the magnetic north which will then give us some point of reference but it doesn't seek the magnetic north why because the ship the ship on its own is like now a magnet but this magnet is influenced by the ship's iron content ship is made up of iron and cargo and the local magnetic influences so if i say that i'm going to switch over from my true course to a magnetic compass course that magnetic course is not necessarily giving me a point of reference of magnetic north i have to apply some corrections to it and this is where my deviation card variation values and compass error knowing the compass error comes in handy so as soon as my gyro fails what happens let me i keep changing the color of the pen so that it doesn't get very monotonous for you you have to switch from a true course to a magnetic course right something that will seek the magnetic north to give us a point of reference right but what happens so if we have the deviation value now if i apply the true and we apply deviation only i am not taking into account variation so i am not getting the i am not counteracting for the effect of variation right now similarly if i just switch over from true to magnetic course that is not really telling me what i should be doing to seek the magnetic north i have to uh, make sure that because i because the magnetic compass on my ship the magnetic compass on the ship it's not a perfect magnetic compass if the ship was made of wood and uh, there was no iron content it would this magnetic compass would be seeking the magnetic north but it doesn't do so all right because it is influenced by the local ship magnetism and the earth's magnetism so i cannot apply deviation to my true and think that i will be getting the correct course
all right so you have to remember this so if you apply variation to my true course what do you get you get a magnetic course which is not good enough because here the deviation is then missing right so similarly if you convert a magnetic course if you are trying to go for a compass course and you are only applying deviation then your variation is missing you can't do that as well so therefore when you are switching over from true to a compass course you want to actually now gyro has failed gyro has failed and true course has to be converted you have to be aware of not only your variation which is quickly observed from the chart so therefore we don't have a variation table but you also have to apply your deviation to it this is where your deviation card comes in handy you have to apply this deviation from the deviation card you have to apply both to get what you call a compass course because then this compass this magnetic compass is now compensated for the effects of deviation and variation and now that if we steer by this magnetic compass we are seeking the magnetic north as the point of reference all right so when we say gyro has failed and we have to switch from true course that is the gyro course to the compass course we have to get the variation from the chart we have to get the deviation from the deviation card apply both now this both together what is it it is compass error right so when we apply both we get the compass course because the magnetic course on its own cannot exist the magnetic course is influenced by the ship's magnetism and the local magnetic anomalies so these are the differences between true magnetic and compass bearings you also have to understand and that is why the compass error knowledge is very important and that is why in your orals you often get situations where you are given true bearing you have to convert it into magnetic bearing or compass bearing using the deviation or variation principles correctly because the surveyor wants to see if you can convert one bearing from the other because this is what you have to do practically on the ship as well you have to convert these courses one course and the other and that is why when you go for watch and you finish your watch and you are writing your log book you write the lines compasses compared right compasses compared and courses checked frequently what does that mean compasses compared and courses checked frequently that means that you have not only been comparing the compasses you are not only looking at the compasses but you are also very aware of the compass error and the deviation and the variation to apply for a particular heading if the gyro suddenly fails and you have to switch from the true compass to the magnetic compass course so when we say magnetic compass course remember the confusion is always that students do not understand when we say magnetic compass what is this compass and magnetic compass now this magnetic compass like i said does not exist in this world because ships are not made of wood all right this is only in theory what we have on the ship is a compass bearing so we always convert from true to compass but magnetic is there because it explains the relation between deviation variation and the other aspects because a magnetic compass in a wooden ship would be then a magnetic compass then we would have no compass we would have only a magnetic compass because the magnetic compass would not be influenced by the ship's magnetism it will only be influenced by the local magnetism and we would correct it by the variation that's why if you have to convert from true course and this is what i was saying if you have to convert from true to magnetic and the ship was made of iron then we won't need deviation we will just apply the variation to the true course and then start steering by the magnetic course because it is counteracting for the effects of the local magnetism but because we have ship's magnetism we also have to apply the deviation when we convert from true to com magnetic compass course which makes it a compass course so don't be confused between magnetic and compass bearing magnetic compass bearing ideally does not exist on the ship and compass bearing is what we have on the ship all right now these questions were frequently being asked to of me by a couple of students or few students and i quickly made this video and i wanted to write and explain things and that's why i don't have a proper presentation here today but if you want to understand more about gyro compass magnetic compass and deviation variation bearings calculations please watch my other videos in the playlist of bridge equipment and uh, magnetic compass gyro compass and compass there are a lot of playlist there in my channel you can watch that
So let me know if you still have any doubts and I will try to address it. Thank you for watching guys. All the best with the studies and good luck.